Hi, I'm Carly and welcome to Be Positive, the TV show made here at the Royal Children's Hospital. At the hospital, there are special cameras that take pictures of the inside of your body. Your doctor might want you to have these pictures on a special camera called an MRI. Let's take a look. We'll take you inside the hospital. Together, we'll discover interesting places, meet new people, and learn about helpful devices. Hi, my name is Helena. Today I'm having an MRI at the Royal Children's Hospital. MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. An MRI is a special camera that can take pictures of your brain, kind of like an x-ray camera. Once we're in the waiting room, the person taking pictures comes to meet us and takes us through to the MRI room. The MRI has big magnets inside it, so you have to remove anything with metal in it, like watches or jewellery, before entering the room so the camera works properly. Amber helps me lie down onto the bed that goes inside the MRI scanner. I put on some big headphones because the camera makes noises and they help me block out most of the sound. Amber told me that these are normal sounds the camera makes when it takes a picture. Then she puts a special helmet over my head which has a mirror in it that lets me see outside of the tunnel and a blanket over my legs so I am warm and comfortable. It's important to lie very still during my MRI scan, otherwise the pictures might come out blurry. When I'm ready, the bed slides into the MRI scanner. Amber needs to go into the room next door so she can work the camera, but she can see me through the window and I can hear her through the headphones. Well done Helena, that was excellent. Here comes the next picture now, are you still okay there? I can hear the camera making noises, but I just concentrate on watching the movie and staying very still. Hey Helena, are you okay there? Excellent, here comes the next picture, nice and still now, here we go. Okay, well done, we're all finished, I'm coming to get you. After the scan is over, we get to see the meerkat enclosure in the hospital. They're so cute. MRI machine is a really cool way to take pictures of the inside of your body. Some children might need to have a special liquid called contrast. This makes the pictures brighter and easier for the doctors to see what's happening. Lily tells us all about getting an IV cannula to have contrast for her MRI. Hi, my name's Lily. A little while ago, I went to the Royal Children's Hospital to have MRI pictures taken of the inside of my body. Mum and I went to medical imaging. It's a place in the hospital where all kinds of medical photos are taken using lots of different machines. We checked in. Chantelle, the receptionist, gave me an ID bracelet. This tells everyone in medical imaging who I am. We waited a little while and then Kirsten, an MRI technologist, took us to another room for a chat. He told me that some children who are having an MRI or other pictures like a CT need to have a special liquid called contrast or tracer put into their body. Contrast or tracer helps the technologist get the best pictures. IV stands for intravenous. Intravenous means into your veins, so an IV cannula is a little straw that goes into your vein. Cool. 
I needed contrast for my pictures. So Emma, another technologist, helped me with my IV cannula. First, she used a tourniquet. It's like a seat belt. It gave my arm a little squeeze. Wow, it made my veins big and easy to see. Emma cleaned my skin. Then she used a special cold stick called CoolSense. Emma put it onto the part of my skin where she could see my vein. It felt really cold and made it go numb. Numb means you can't feel that part of your skin as much, making it easier to have the IV cannula. Some children like to look, but I chose to play a find it game. Emma put a sticker over the IV cannula. She pushed some salty water into the IV cannula. It's called a flush and it checks if the IV cannula is working. I didn't feel anything but some children say it feels cold and some children say it feels warm. Emma covered it to keep it safe and comfortable. Time for my pictures on the MRI machine. Kirsten took a few pictures of my body without contrast. Then she put the contrast into my IV cannula. It felt a bit cold for me. Back into the machine for more pictures. The contrast helped to make the pictures of my body bright and clear. Some children have contrast before their pictures or while their pictures are being taken. You can ask your technologist about when they need to put the contrast in for you. The pictures are finished. Kirsten took the IV cannula out of my hand. Time to go home. Bye. 你好，我叫 Janet， 我系依间儿童医院嘅放射师，我负责照 X 光、电脑扫描同埋磁力共振。我最中意睇嘅戏咧就系《坏蛋掌门人》，我捧嘅澳洲足球队咧就系 Essendon。欢迎收睇 Be Positive。I'm here with Kirsten, and Kirsten, what do you do at the hospital? I'm an MRI radiographer. Great, and what does an MRI radiographer do? I told Jazz all about it yesterday. Well, let's check it out. Hi, Kirsten. Hi, Jazz. Kirsten, what's your job at the hospital? I'm an MRI radiographer. What's an MRI radiographer do? Uh, we use an MRI magnet to take pictures of um, kids' insides. Cool. And what's your favourite thing about your job? I like showing kids what's expected of them during their scan. Kirsten, what do you like to do when you're not at the hospital? I like to travel and take photos. What do you like to take photos of? Uh, mostly landscapes and the beach. Wow. I love the beach. I love going swimming and building sandcastles. Me too. Kirsten, what's your favourite colour? My favourite colour is blue and anything that glitters. Blue just like your top. That's right. And Kirsten, what's your favourite thing to eat? Probably a cheese toasty. Mmm, yum. And Kirsten, who is your favourite princess? Mulan. Why is it Mulan? Because she's strong and independent. My favourite princess is Princess Ariel. Why? Because I want to be a mermaid one day. Nice. Thanks so much for chatting to us today, Kirsten. Thank you. Bye. 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 Sometimes children need a general anaesthetic, a special medical sleep to have their MRI. Angus came to the hospital to have a general anaesthetic for his pictures. Let's find out what happened. Hi, my name is Angus. I went to the Royal Children's Hospital to have pictures taken of my body. 
Most children are awake for their pictures, but sometimes you might need to have a special medical sleep, just like me. This is called a general anaesthetic and helps you go to sleep and stay asleep while your pictures are being taken. We checked in and the receptionist Amelia gave me an ID bracelet. This tells everyone in medical imaging who I am. We waited in the waiting area. Fiona, the nurse, came and took us to another area called Pre-Op Hold. She scanned my ID bracelet. Fiona put some numbing cream on the back of my hands. I'll explain why a little later. She used a cuff around my arm to check my blood pressure and then measured my heartbeat. I was weighed and also had my temperature taken. Fiona asked me about the last time I had something to eat and drink. It's important to stop eating six hours before your general anaesthetic. This is called fasting. During your special medical sleep, your whole body will go to sleep, including your stomach. So it's important to make sure it's empty. You can drink water until one hour before your general anaesthetic. Before I had my special medical sleep, I met my radiographer, Nisha. Radiographers take pictures of your body. She told me what happens when my pictures are taken. Nisha asked me some questions and answered my questions too. I also met James, my anaesthetist. Anaesthetists help you have your special medical sleep. He told me there are two different ways to go to sleep. One option, we can do a special IV injection on the hand or the arm and put some medication in through that to get you off to sleep. Or another option we can do instead is put a special mask on, go over the nose and mouth like that, and give you some anaesthetic gas to breathe on. I chose the mask to have my special medical sleep. James asked me a few questions and checked my breathing. I asked him some questions too. I was feeling a little nervous, so the anaesthetist and I decided that it would be a good idea to have some medicine to help me feel more relaxed. The medicine has a funny taste and some children like to have a little sip of cordial or juice after. I chose orange cordial. The medicine I had worked really well and I felt very calm and relaxed. If you're feeling nervous, you can talk to your anaesthetist about having some medicine to help you relax. It's a great idea to bring something to do while you ate. I played on mum's iPhone. When it was my turn, I was taken into the room where my pictures would be taken. Mum came too. I was having my pictures in the CT room. Wow, this camera looks like a donut. If you're having different pictures taken, like an MRI or PET Emma, then you'll have your special medical sleep on these cameras. I moved on to the CT camera bed and my anaesthetist, James, showed me the face mask that helps me fall asleep. James said I could choose a flavour for my mask to make it smell nice. I chose orange. I breathed in the medicine. Wow, I made the balloon blow up. I did this until I drifted off to sleep. The special medical sleep is different to the sleep you have at night. With this sleep, you don't hear, see or feel anything and the doctor keeps you asleep until your pictures are finished. While my pictures were taken, the anaesthetist stayed with me and looked after me the whole time. When all my pictures were taken, I went to an area called recovery. I had another nurse, Eamon, looking after me. When I woke up, Mum was there. I had a little straw in the back of my hand. This is the best way to get medicine into your body if you need it. After a little while, Eamon gave me something to eat and drink. When she was happy that I was feeling well enough, she took out my tiny straw. Time to go home. Bye. Well, that's all we have time for today. I hope you've learnt lots about MRI. If you're in the hospital and like to be a part of our show, just ask the child life therapist on your ward or send us an email. I'm Carly. Thanks for watching. Be positive.